here goes another unboxing video. Part three. What is up guys, Mikey Messini here with Mikey DC. I hope you've been well. If you're new to the channel, what's up? On here I do reviews on gear, gadgets, tech, apparel, anything that I use on a regular daily basis to allow me to live a more aware and prepared life. So if you're new to the channel, like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on my content. Today I'm gonna be doing episode three of unboxing. We got a lot of new packages that came in and I'm very excited to open this. So let's just get to it. So for today, I'm gonna be using the trusted Benchmade bug out to help open the packages for today. And I'm gonna start off with this right here. Safety first. Ooh, this is from a new company called Tattle Gear. Make sure you check them out. They got me a dum-dum. Okay, it looks like they gave me a three inch memo book. This is really nice. Let's take a closer look. Open this up. I love the grid pages. You guys can see that there. Different grid pages that they have. And then what's really cool is if you turn this around, it actually has a ruler. So you have inches on this side, centimeters on this side. And it's a very nice small book. It fits in the palm of your hand just like that. This right here is a flashlight. Wow. It's a micro flashlight from Tattle Gear. Super sweet. It takes double A? Triple A. I think I have a double A lying around. Is that a double A? No. It takes triple A batteries. So I will put that battery in there. And when I do an actual review of this gear, you guys will be able to see how many lumens and outputs it is. But it does have a deep carry pocket clip, which I really like. It's very small. It's probably like the size of my middle finger. Just about. Let's open this up here. Wow, they sent me another. Oh wait, no, I thought it was a light. Oh no, this is a pen. Wow, look at that. That's a very sweet pen and it's a bolt action pen. Just clicks just like that. So I'm left-handed. This is how I typically write. Has a little hole up here where you can put a lanyard, which is sweet. And then it's a bolt action mechanism. Don't know what material this is, but it does feel pretty sturdy. This is nice because it can also clip onto your pockets or just any other small gear pouches that you have. Awesome. This here is a knife that I just opened up. Comes with a little Torx wrench there. Has a microfiber cloth to clean the knife. And this is the flipper that we have here. So if you take a look at that, okay. Has that nice deep carry pocket clip. It's only one side, it's only right-handed. Does have a little lanyard hole right there. Woo! Has a liner lock. See that? Has a liner lock right there. No play. That's good. And Woo! feels very good in hand. Take a look at that. Nice. So I just have to find ways to work that, but this is very sturdy. I don't know what these scales are. I think it's G10, but I'm gonna have to double check. Let's see what, what type of blade is it? Does it say on there? No, so I'm gonna have to look that up for you guys too. When I do the review, I'll make sure I Put all of that in the description. This is also another knife. Yes, it is. Same stuff that comes with it in terms of the microfiber cloth and the Allen wrench. Let's take this out of the bag. And these knives are very affordable, guys. Okay, so this one is the other knife that they sent me. Don't know the exact name. I'll make sure I link it, okay, guys? Another deep carry pocket clip. And that is also right hand. Oh, actually, I think it's Ambi. I think I could switch it to the left side. I'll have to check that out. Can I switch this one too on the left side? No, 
So this one is only right hand configurated. And this one I think is ambidextrous. So I'm gonna have to look this one up. Wow, that came out smooth. And this thing is sharp, very sharp. But look at that blade. That is really nice. So this also has a liner lock to it. There's different ways to flip this knife. So you can either flip it over on the back side, just like that, or you can do it as a top flipper with your thumb. And it comes out just like that as well. Very neat. I love the ergos on this knife. Tattle gear. Thank you guys so much. I will make sure I tattle along to the followers and let them know where to find you guys. See what I did there? All right, tattle gear. Appreciate you all. Let's actually use that. Let's use that to open up the next package. Wow, that thing is sharp. This is from, hmm. I think this is from an Etsy shop. See if there's a note inside. There is. It says, hello, Mikey. Thank you so much for choosing and supporting my brand. I hope this NUC fits your needs and will come in handy. Thanks again, best regards, Simon. Finally got it, Simon, thank you so much. Let's check this NUC out. Woo, take a look at that. Very cool. So his shop, I actually came across on Etsy. I said it in my last video, but Etsy has very good quality EDC gear. And I love this. Look at that, it fits perfect in hand and it has a piece right there where you can put your lanyard. This is very sweet. Simon, thank you so much. Love this NUC. This is actually my first NUC. Yeah, I've never owned any NUCs before. This is my very first one. I'm glad Simon was able to hook it up. Appreciate you. Let's put that right there. Next package here, let me use this knife, this is from Rover EDC, my guy. Whoa, razor sharp. I barely even tapped into this thing and I started cutting it open already. I gotta be careful with that. This looks like a pouch, awesome. So this right here is from Rover EDC. This is a pouch that was sent over to me. Very cool, it has his logo and design right there. I'll make sure I tag his Instagram as well because that's where him and I were able to connect. And then on the front, you have the Velcro hook and loop where you can put your small patches around there or you can put a morale patch completely up to you. These zippers are very strong and sturdy. So you got that opening right up front and then right in here, if you open this. Oh, this is also a slit where you can put a little notepad or book or you can put your tattle gear book right in there. Bam, look at that. Oh shoot, I got another patch inside. Okay, hold on. A pouch. And he gave me patches. So he gave me a patch in black and he gave me a patch in white. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and slap them on right now for you. I'm gonna slap that white one right on there. Boom. I'm gonna slap the black one on the smaller pouch that he got me. So does this make me pouch gang now? I don't know. Every time I try to get a data crew or garage built gear, they're always sold out. And I slapped that right there on that pouch as well. I don't know the exact name of these pouches. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I will make sure I link them in the description below. So let's take out a uh, look at that first pouch. The first pouch, when you open it up like this, it has some molly webbing panels right here. Very nice. And then on the other flap, it also has sections where you can put gear and a bigger spot for a notepad or any other items that can fit best in that area. Close it up, zips up just like that. This is how it looks in my hand. A Little larger than normal, but a very cool, well-built pouch. Now we look at this small one here. Guys, black multicam, come on. Pull patch hat, this. Victos just hooked me up with a bunch of black multicam. I'm in love with this pattern. I'm in love with this pattern. Okay, on here, you can also expect the same things from the first pouch, except 
This doesn't have a zipper insert. This just opens up like that. And then on the back side, it also has a slit where you can put that there. And actually, I think this Tattle Gear book would be a perfect size for that. Let me slide that right on in there. Oh, just disappears. Very nice. I think it also fits perfect in the front. If I put that in there, also disappears. Wow. Okay. Let's open this up. It only has one zipper. It goes from bottom to the top. And then once I open it, what? I got a, another little pouch. Man, thank you so much, Rover EDC. On here, I have the logo, right? He has his logo right there on the inside flap. You can also use this to maybe hook on some keys. And then inside has a channel for where you can put items and gear. And then this right here is a little... Uh, elastic strap has one right there also and then on this side it breaks it down where you can put one in the far back and then you got two other slits here as well very nice and compact fits a lot better in my palm of hands and zips up from bottom to top to unzip you go top to bottom so that's cool and then this right here is a little small pouch maybe i can put coins in there or just smaller miscellaneous items these items from tattle gear the small pen and this flashlight oh fits in there like a glove boom zips up just disappears and you have hook and loop panel right here for any other patches rover edc hooked it up thank you so much i appreciate it I will have a thorough review following very soon. Back to opening up packages. Boom. This is from Alan Dempster from Shrug Gear. So let's open this up. What do we get from Shrug Gear? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let us put some Shrug Gear in it. You know, wrote me a whole story here. Look at that, huh? Hey Mikey, thanks for reaching out to me. I hope this will be beneficial for both of us. I haven't stepped into the social media realm on promoting my business yet. I work full time as an insurance agent and do this after hours with another side business I am getting started. Hey, me too, same boat. The hope is to build the other businesses so that I can get out of the insurance world. In my previous life, I was an infantryman in a recon unit in the 2000s during OIF and OEF. At that time, I didn't have the sewing skills I do now. I constantly wasted money on trying new gear to find the most efficient and reliable gear that worked for me. I got married and got out of the military over a decade ago. I then taught myself to sew and started making things that work for me. I do some custom work locally as well on Etsy. These items are some of the ones that have stuck for me and seem to work. The first is the individual cleaning kit. It's made to be the size of an AR mag and will fit an AR mag pouch. The idea was that we always carried cleaning supplies in our rucksack, but on many missions would drop rucks for speed. We gained speed, but lost the accessibility to our sustainment gear. It only made sense to be able to maintain your weapon even though you are away from the sustainment gear. It comes with an empty oil CLP bottle. The elastic pouch on the far end is for coin batteries. The middle pouch holds the bottle in either a boar snake and collapsible cleaning rod like the Atsco rapid gun cleaning rod. The open-ended slot is for a rag or individually wrapped CLP cleaning wipes. Keep enough in it to get by and then restock from larger cleaning kit in your ruck, vehicle, patrol base, etc. So let's check that out. This is it right here. And you open that up and there you have it. So it opens up just like that where you can put wipes, in here, he has an empty bottle for a CLP. You have another pouch right here where you can add other miscellaneous items. And then to put it away, it just folds, folds, and Velcros down just like that. So super neat. I love that. The next thing I have here is an EDC pouch. So this pouch helped me organize smaller kits in my gear and vehicles. When unzipped, it opens wide to see all contents. It has my signature high-vis orange liner. This helps the visibility of the items by giving it 
a bright backdrop instead of a dark fabric that would create more shadow. I do offer more liner colors that are high vis as well as subdued colors. Not everyone loves the bright inside. In a pinch, the bright orange could be used as a signaling device by flipping the bag inside out. I do these in all multi-cam patterns, woodland, solids, along with other camel patterns. PM me on Etsy for custom colors and sizes. I've made some for camo guys that are taller to fit radios. Camo guys. I've made some for camo guys that are taller to fit radios and some that are longer for toiletry type bags. Some of the kits that my family and I have created with the bags are fire survival kits, small kits for eating, such as forts, packs, and ration type items. Uh, his boys use them to organize their Lego weapons. And then his wife has one in the vehicle with a flashlight, extra batteries, chem light, and other night safety items to grab at night if needed. Charger cables and small electronics. So his wife thinks that he has too many bags, big and small. My wife included, man. All right, Alan, so let's check this out. This right here is his EDC pouch. If you notice here, there's a little grab handle where you can just carry this with you. Look at the paracord that he did on there as well. Super nice knot. And then it just zips open like so and has that orange inner liner. I love that. I have that on my alpaca bag, the limited edition version, because it is easy to see the content inside. Especially with me, I'm blind. Without my glasses, I'll run into walls. So to have items just like this, where it opens up and it's very high vis, I love that. You actually hooked me up by doing that, Alan. Thank you so much. And he did say, one of the things that popped out to me is that if you do turn this inside out, you can use this as a signaling device if you're ever stranded or anything like that. I love the minimalistic approach to it. This is also nice for carrying ammo. I mean, it's a sturdy bag. You know, if I play with it, it's made very well. It also has this aqua line to it so that it looks like water can get through there. So yeah, that right there is the EDC pouch. Thank you so much for that. Last item is the, he calls it currently the pocket refill. So he's always liked to carry an extra mag but didn't want to add it to his waistband for EDC. My mag was always changing directions in my pocket, not giving me a consistent draw. You don't want to need your extra mag and have to fool with its direction. If you need an extra mag, things have gone bad and you need it now. I didn't prefer what was available on the market, so I tried to create a solution. I took two different ideas and the second has stuck and it is what I've carried for two years with great results. So these work best with smaller 380s, 9s and 40s like the Shield and Shield Plus 365 Hellcat G43 line, and it will fit Glock 19 size mags, but they are bulky and you lose some of the concealment enhancements the sleeve provides for smaller mags. They will also work for 1911 single stacks and probably not for the Desert Eagle 50 with a smiley face there. It only takes a few practice draws to get it down. Basically when grabbing the mag from your pocket, make sure to pull the mag forward so the wing catches the front of the pocket, causing it to drop free as you finish the draw. Kind of similar to drawing an Emerson knife with a wave feature that helps deploy the blade on draw. Makes sense. I can do these in wolf gray and ranger green as well as black, and that's currently what's listed. People can PM him for other colors. Mikey D will get you 10% discount. You guys heard it right here, Mikey D. If you have any questions, either PM him through Etsy or give him a call. Thank you so much for the opportunity to review his gear. Alan, thank you. I will take a deep dive into this once I actually do a full review, but this is the sleeve that he has here, which he created. So if you take a look at that, I have a Glock 19. So let me see how this looks. Okay, so that fits in it just like that. And let me see if I put him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how this works. Okay, that is how you do it. First try, waka pow. Check that out. Didn't even hesitate. I like the idea, Alan. 
I'm gonna be practicing this when I hit the range. I really like the design that you did with it as well. Super reinforced on the sides there. So the idea is very nice where you just pull away and it tugs it out, slap that into the pistol and then boom. Thank you so much. Alrighty, we are down to our last package here. So let's check it out. Let's use this flipper right here. Wow, this just feels really good in hand. All right, Tattle Gear, Mayor, you're onto something with this one. And it's also razor sharp. I mean, I barely cut into that thing and it just went right through it. I have to be careful with this before I done cut myself. This was sent to me by Team VA Thorium Tactical. So this is the long ship knife, long ship tactical knife. It looks like I got two. All right, bam. Comes in this sheath right here. And then on the back side, it has screws. This is actually a bit. And then I open this up right here. This is the long ship knife. Oh, wow. That thing is sharp. Okay, so this is a carabiner that goes along with it. Hooks onto there. This is typically how you would hold it. And then this is the guard that covers the actual long ship blade. But if you look at it, there's a couple things to this. There's a lanyard hole that you can put right there. There's a hex bit opening on that side and then different wrench size screws. And then to take this off, it looks like this is spring actuated, which you pull away from the actual blade and it comes down just like so. And then it also comes with a small bottle opener right there. This is a unique design. Let's see how this cuts. Also razor sharp. I mean, come on guys, look at that. I barely cut into it. I'm barely cutting into it. Razor sharp is what I'm talking about. Wow, definitely gotta be careful with that. And then to close it up, I do that and I bring it back there and it locks it in place. That is from Thorium Tactical. This is their long ship knife and man, that is cool. And that concludes our unboxing video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I will make sure that I link all of these gears, all of these gears, all of this gear in the description below. So that way you guys know exactly where to find them on Etsy. Tattle gear is not found on Etsy. I did come across them on Instagram. So I will make sure I link their Instagram and their website down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you to everyone who sent me this gear. I really appreciate you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and then comment down below what stood out to you. What did you guys like? Etsy is such an underground EDC platform and everybody that is on Etsy is super passionate about what they make. And I'm so glad that I'm able to support and show the gear that is actually being made and sold on there because everything on social media is just super oversaturated in my opinion sometimes that these guys don't get that light. I'm super happy to get gear sent from them. Make sure you go ahead and check them out in the description below. If I have any discount codes for them, I'll also link them down there. My name is Mikey Messina. This is Mikey DC. Peace out.